Happy May Day Vikings! I'm Emma and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. May 1st is the global holiday May Day. Let's learn some more about it. May Day is a May 1st holiday dating back to the millennial times. May Day took on a whole new meaning as an international workers day grew out in the 19th century labor movement to, for workers rights due to eight hour working days in the United States. For millions of workers around the world, the 1st of May is their day. In the late 19th century, American labor unions were fed up. Fed up with being overworked, in dangerous conditions, and with little pay. So in 1884, the Federation of Organized Trades and Labor Unions met in Chicago and had one major demand, an eight-hour workday. And on May 1st, 1886, over 300,000 American workers went on strike. Three days later, thousands of strikers met in Haymarket Square, where a riot broke out between cops and workers. A bomb was thrown into the crowd, killing several people. It was called the Haymarket Massacre. And today, May 1st is known as International Workers' Day. While every country's workers have a different history behind May Day, they all commemorate those who have and continue to give their lives for workers' justice. Today, May Day is officially celebrated in 66 countries and unofficially celebrated in many more. Ironically, it is rarely recognized in the country where it first began, the United States of America. Back to your anchors. All of you guys are having a super awesome May Day. Now on to your daily announcements. Students, today is the deadline to submit your application to join the Writing Center's team for next year. Please fill out the virtual application by tonight if you're interested. If you would like to try out for the Stephen High School Auxiliary Dance Team, fill out the tryout packet that's found in Schoology. The North Topeka Rays are accepting applications to register for this summer swim season. The registration fee is only $200. Check Schoology if you're interested. Attention seniors! Your Afterglow Committee has some exciting news for you. Make sure to check your Class of 2020 Schoology page this week to find out some more information. If you are interested in being part of the Mighty Seaman Players for the 2021 school year, applications are now being accepted. Fill out the Google form found in Schoology by May 10th to be considered. If you have any questions, contact Mr. Stopper. The Seaman High School Prom is planned for Thursday, July 30th from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Stormont Vale Event Center. Check Schoology to find out how to register. Current Washburn Tech students. This is a reminder to please fill out the survey that was sent to your Washburn email by the end of the day today. Students who would like to attend Washburn Tech in the fall and have not yet tested, testing dates will start back up the week of May 4th. Fill out an application that's found on the Washburn Tech website to set up a testing time. It's been pretty breezy these last few days. Let's head over to weather with Josh Duncan to see what next week's weather has in store for us after this quick commercial break. Oh, hey, seniors. Normally this time, SVTV is shooting senior thank yous. Don't worry, we're still making senior thank yous, but this year, DIY. If you're interested in making your own video, you can view the link to a tutorial on the Class of 2020 Schoology page or in your own government class. If you'd like to submit your senior thank yous, you can submit it to your government class or email me at airmcgill at usd345students.com. All submissions are due May 15th, and remember, these are for graduation. That's all for me. Make sure to remember, it's always a great day to be a Viking. Even though school is closed, applications are still available for graduation speakers. More information is on Schoology, but they are due this Friday, May 1st. Happy May Day, and you know what that means? It's time to take a look back at the month of April weather-wise, 
in terms of temperatures, when you add all the days up, we were 1.2 degrees below average. And as far as precipitation, we saw just under four inches at the Billard Airport, and that was enough to put us near one half inch above average. But if you didn't like the weather we saw for much of April, I think you enjoyed today, and I have good news. Tomorrow will be much of the same with highs in the upper 70s. It's going to be another warm day, maybe touching 80, and we'll have a few clouds during the afternoon. Now, here's the weather pattern for tomorrow. We're tracking an area of low pressure that will be developing to our south and west, and whenever you have an area of low pressure to the southwest, that usually means your chances of severe weather are pretty low on the north side of the system and that's what we're looking at so here's the severe weather outlook from the storm prediction center this is going to come in mainly saturday night possibly after midnight a round of showers and thunderstorms the better chance for severe weather will stay off well to our west in portions of colorado and even that is only a marginal risk but here it's just the general risk for some showers and thunderstorms coming up Saturday night. And taking a look at the SVTV 7-day forecast, you can see that our temperatures will start to cool down once we get past the once we get past Saturday. After that storm chance Saturday night, a high of 73 on Sunday, 68 Monday with another round of storms possible. And then next week temperatures staying Near average, maybe slightly below average in the upper 60s and lower 70s. And there could be a few showers around on Thursday. So we'll keep you updated on that storm chance for tomorrow night and on Monday. But for now, that's your latest weather forecast. Emma, back to you. Thanks, Josh. To close out our show, Josh asked a student what they're doing to keep busy while in quarantine. I've been doing this quarantine. I've been keeping myself occupied by doing online school and watching my little sister. That takes up a lot of my time. Uh, have you been watching anything on like Netflix or Hulu or anything? Yeah, so my one of my favorite shows is The Office, so I've watched that. And then I just started watching like Grey's Anatomy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's good. <laughs> uh, how is online learning going for you? It's good. It's hard to stay motivated in my own house because yeah. there's distractions or also just not really wanting to do it <laughs> that much. But I think it's also nice because then I can take breaks if I need to or I can actually get a lot done because I can get multiple times done in the time it takes to do one at school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what do you like about, so you, what would you like about online learning? Yeah, just kind of being able to pick when I do my stuff, just make sure it gets done before the due date, so I have free time. What do you miss the most about school? Seeing my friends and talking to people. Yeah. Uh, what don't you miss? Though I feel like there's a little bit less stress, mm -hmm. I guess. There's not so many people on your back about stuff <laughs> because we're all going through the same thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, what is the first thing you're going to do when this quarantine is over? Probably go see people. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Ashton. Thank you. <laughs> That's all we have for today, Bikes. Have a great Friday.